Disclaimer! Some of these clips were filmed last year, before COVID-19. So we may not be wearing a mask, but this year we're always wearing a mask to stay safe. Welcome to Connection Corner! I'm Miss Lindsay, your school social worker. And I'm Miss Kilpatrick, your school counselor. As you may know, we're talking about body safety this month. Last week, we talked about our first two safety rules. Safety rule number one is check first. Safety rule number two is no secrets. But what are safety rules three and four? Safety rule number three is we talk about touches. Your body is so important. And there's some areas that are just for you, like the areas that your bathing suit covers. And there might be some times that someone you trust might need to look at or touch your bathing suit areas. And that's usually to keep you clean and healthy, like a diaper change or at a doctor's office. And if you're not sure and you feel like it might be kind of confusing or uncomfortable, you can talk to one of your trusted adults and they should be able to help you figure that out. Remember that clean and healthy touches should never feel like a secret. And also remember, it's never a child's fault if an adult tricks you into doing something that you feel a little confused about. Know that you can always tell one of your trusted adults. And remember, if you forget to say no or you're too scared or frozen to say no in the moment, you can still talk to one of your trusted adults afterwards. So what if your friend's babysitter asks to look at your bathing suit area where your private parts are? What do you do? You would take two steps back, say no, run for help, and tell a trusted adult. There may be times when to keep you safe, a trusted adult needs to hold your hand. But if you don't like the way that they're doing it and it might be hurting, all you have to do is tell them. You can say things like, ouch, that hurts. Rule number four is tell a trusted adult. People are like snowflakes. Each one of us is individual and different. We all have different dreams and goals out there. Think about one of the dreams that you have. What do you want to be when you grow up? Those are great dreams. We believe each one of you deserves to be safe. Have any of you ever fallen down and scraped your knee? When that happened, were you thinking about great dreams? No? Well, what were you thinking about? Probably, ouch, that hurt. When someone is being hurt, it's hard to think about anything else. That's why when you tell us that someone else is being hurt or you're being hurt, we do whatever we can to keep you safe. So what if your friend asks you not to tell an adult about the touching game your babysitter played with both of you? That sounds like they want you to keep a secret and we don't keep secrets from our trusted adults. So you would need to tell one of yours. What do you do if you tell a trusted adult and they can't or they don't help you? Well, you go to another trusted adult and you keep telling your trusted adults until you find someone that's able to help. Friends tell when someone is being hurt. In the beginning, they might be a little mad at you, but they'll realize in the end that you were being a good friend. Remember, a trusted adult should be an adult. If another kid comes and tells you something you think a trusted adult should know, you should tell one of your trusted adults so they can help them. Sometimes kids aren't sure if what they're wanting to tell is tattling or if it's telling. The way you can kind of figure that out is tattling is whenever you're telling an adult to try and get someone into trouble. Like, hey, Miss Kilpatrick, Miss Becca was out of line. Mm. Telling is whenever you're telling an adult something to help keep you or someone else safe and get them help. So remember, when you get that uh-oh feeling, take two giant steps back, say no, run to get help, and tell your trusted adults. Our safety rules are, one, check first, two, no secrets, three, we talk about touches, and four, we tell if someone is being hurt. 
hope you've had fun with us this month and have learned a little bit more about our body safety rules. Next week is Red Ribbon Week, and we're going to learn a little bit more about keeping our bodies healthy. That's all for today. Miss Kilpatrick, what would you like to do today? Mm, I think I'd like to elbow bump again. Okay. We all have the power to connect. connect.